Chapter 24, Viral Infections of the Skin. It's a review from class in the Lewis textbook. Herpes simplex is small, painful, fluid-filled blisters on a raised red area of the skin, typically around the mouth. Pain or tingling is called a prodrome, which often precedes the blisters by one to two days. Cold sores, which are small and somewhat painful blisters that usually show up on or around a person's lips, are caused by the herpes simplex virus 1. They don't always show just on the lips. They can sometimes be inside the mouth, on the face, or even inside or on the nose. These places are the most common, but sores can appear anywhere on the body, including the genital area. Genital herpes isn't typically caused by the herpes simplex virus 1. It is caused by herpes simplex virus 2 and is spread by sexual contact. Diagnosis is based primarily on clinical observations and patient history. A Tanzic smear is useful for presumptive diagnosis. A culture or direct fluorescent antibody staining is required for definitive diagnosis, and it is necessary to distinguish between varicella, zoster, and herpes due to similar findings on the Tanzic smear. Medical management would be a cyclovir, oral or IV, and is indicated as a mainstay of treatment. Both decrease frequency and severity of reoccurrence. The side effects, though, it may be nephrotoxic. Herpes zosters, or shingles, is an infection caused by a varicella zoster virus, which is the same virus that causes chickenpox. Even after the chickenpox infection is over, the virus may live in your nervous system for years before reactivating as shingles. Shingles may also be referred to as the herpes zoster. Herpes zoster is a painful burning rash that has open fluid-filled blisters. Patients describe it as pain, burning, numbness, or tingling. A red rash that begins a few days after the pain and fluid-filled blisters that break open and crust over. Treatment options include a cyclovir, bamcyclovir, or valacyclovir. Veruca vulgaris, known as a common wart, is a small fleshy grainy bumps, flesh-colored, white, pink, or tan. It's rough to the touch. Warts are tiny skin infections caused by viruses of the human papillomavirus family. Although children get warts most often, teens and adults can get them too. Sometimes warts are sexually transmitted and appear in the genital areas, but most warts affect the fingers, hands, and feet. Some people appear to be more susceptible to warts than others. In fact, some people never get them. This may be that some people's immune system make them less likely to get the virus that causes warts. The viruses that cause warts are passed from person to person by close physical contact. Having a tiny scratch or cut can make a person more vulnerable to getting warts. The most common treatment for warts contains salicylic acid and cryotherapy. Condylomena acumatum is another way of saying anal rectal and genital warts. Plantar warts are hard, grainy growths that usually appear on the heels or balls of the feet or areas that feel the most pressure. This pressure may also be caused by the plantar warts to grow inward beneath a hard layer of skin, the callus. Plantar warts are caused by the human papillovirus. The virus enters the body through tiny cuts and breaks or other spots on the bottom of the feet. Treatments include prescription strength wart medication with salicylic acid and it works by removing layers of a wart a little bit at a time. This may also stimulate the immune system's ability to fight the wart. Cryotherapy can be done and involves applying liquid nitrogen to the wart, either with a spray or a cotton swab. This area is usually numb first because it can be painful when the liquid nitrogen is applied. This chemical causes a blister to form around the wart and the dead tissue sloughs off within a week or so. It also stimulates the immune system to fight viral warts. Usually the patient will return to the doctor's office for repeat treatments every three to four weeks until the wart disappears.